Hi there and welcome back to another Finish It Friday. I think we're a little bit too too narrow. That's probably okay. Okay, so <laughs> I've got a load of um, these picture frame type digitals and these are all from uh, Nanine at College Type from all different kits. I have started cutting uh, some of the middles out so this is the way i do it i've got these small snips and they've got a really sharp end so i just poke a hole in and then i just cut around it they're not perfect but um yeah they're better than when i first ever tried to <coughs> to cut them out so i'm just going to follow this line around and then i can ink all around where i've cut anyway and it like the imperfections so some of these i'm going to turn into uh, journal cards so i'm going to back them and some of them i'm going to turn into pockets so once i've cut them out we'll sort them into piles of, of what we're going to do do with them so that's that one that's fine I've got this one. There was a sheet of frames in the uh, August Patreon uh, printout, which went with the uh, Woodland kit that was um, a freebie on the Buy Me a Coffee site, which just on the fairies uh, with. But um, <laughs> yeah, there must be some frames in some of the blue kits that Nanine did and some of the bird kits because a lot of them are like the browns and, and the blues right, nearly there and then I shall get them all linked up get them into, into piles I've got some acetate out I'm going to put acetate in the windows if you don't have acetate you don't have to use acetate you don't have to use anything um, in the windows you can just have them have them open um, could use some packaging or if you've got uh, like a roll of cellophane which I've got a big roll of cellophane what I use for wrapping uh, things you could use that uh, mine's got all like white dots over it which is why I don't use that but uh, I used to pick rolls up from from the pound shop for, for a pound <laughs> of cellophane that would have done or you can put um, vellum it obviously wouldn't be a total see-through so it'd just be um, give it have a misty kind of look which that would be fine so plenty of different ways to to do the window or like I say <laughs> you don't have to do do anything right let's um start in Ken I'm gonna use the the gathered twigs and I'm just gonna start by going around the windows Put that next, so it's going to need um, folding down. So this one's going to be a journal card, so it's a nice, <coughs> nice size. So I'll go all the way around. Okay. Same with this one, this can be a journal card. That's that, and then we'll go around the sides. And let's look at this one. I was thinking I may be doing that as a pocket. I know it's got the um, moths going that way, but I don't know if that's, that could be a pocket. No, I'm going to do this one as a journal card, because I think I've got a few others that I could do as pockets. 
Like that, so that can be <coughs> a pocket. So it can go that way. Like so, let's get this middle. Some more ink on, that's better. It's covered up the imperfections now. I wouldn't say there wasn't enough on to, to cover it, that one's better. Right, so that's going to be a pocket. This one can be a pocket too. Okay, that's going to be a journal card. I'll pause in a tick and... I'm going to imagine I've not got that many left, am I? I always think, oh, I'll just pause this bit, but um, yeah, get right into it, and then <laughs> got to stop, stop doing it, and press, press pause. Oh dear me! Right, that's gonna be a journal card. Some more ink on there. That's better. Okay. Another journal card. I'm going to have the next one as a pocket and <coughs> I'm going to take the back off. Originally I was going to have it as a journal card and have that as the back but I've got a lot more journal cards than pockets so I'm thinking this can be a pocket. into a journal card so I'll put that in my pile for uh, a different video <coughs> I absolutely love this blue it's got very very vintage um, colour it's like a grey blue isn't it so I really love that and when you put the ink on it it really does look authentic right that's pocket and then these two are pockets, which these obviously want um, scoring. But I think we'll do the journal cards first. Depending how long we are, I might do um, part of it today and part of it tomorrow. Right, and that's that. Okay, okay. So I think all these are the the right way, and I'm gonna back them. Um, I've got some a couple of sheets of you know neutrals, and then I've got some some blues. Um, this one is already on card. Now I've not got a clue what I'm putting. Um, in them. I don't know. I'm thinking I'll just um, find the right backing for it first. <laughs> so let me, I'm going to start off by cutting down here and down, down the side. And then we'll cut down this side. Yep. Straight would be good. Or ish. I can cope with ish. Okay. <clears throat> so if I put that there and just hold it, because I can obviously tidy it up after. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got a bag for that. Like I say, <laughs> I can tidy it up um, after. Thinking these aren't going to want blue on blue. Don't know about that, maybe. Yeah, I think I'll do do that. And then I'm gonna do this one. Put around around the corners. Okay, so that's those. <laughs> Let me just cut this down to a bit of a a batter. Right, I can go miss scraps. So I'm thinking these ones probably want to be um, brown. Yeah. What else have we got? Oh, I think that's a better, better match. So let's cut down here. This is gonna. These ones are gonna want back in in card because this is only uh, paper Put down this top I think I'm gonna put the um I mean just put the camera up a little bit yep sorry was very very near wasn't I? That was giving you a headache. Right, let's have that one there then. Keen on that on that one. I'm just listening to blue actually. Oh, bit looks okay there. I think I'm gonna do this with this. Okay, <laughs> so we've got all the all the bags for those. So let me grab my um, acetate pieces, which we're not going to be able to see, are we? <laughs> That's a full sheet, put that there. Let's use these bits first. <clears throat> I think I'm going to use the three in one just to make it uh, quicker. And. Keep it with its partner, so <clears throat> I'll put the partner underneath so it doesn't get stuck. Right, leave those two last because they need back in. Right, that's the piece, isn't it? So. Uh, 
him i've got my the acetate that i buy it is on my uh, amazon favorites and it's on paper etc if you want to see uh, what acetate i use so that's that <coughs> and that's the partner Yep. Yeah. Right, that's too deep. It won't do to anything. Let's look at this one. And I can go there. Any what's poking out, I can cut when they've all been uh, glued glued together. That's that one. There's the next piece. Oh, I think I've got a small piece here. It's just cut that down. It's in a funny, funny V. Get that down. This one back in. I have got some uh, manila card here. So I think I'm going to use that collab. Get it right into that corner, and I'll only have. Two sides to, to cut. So that's that one. Let's have a look at this. Let's just put a little bit more down there. Yep, bulging out. Now we're dropping glue. <laughs> right. Let's have a look at this one. These would have been nice with their uh, photo just photographs in. You know, some ladies or something. Right, so that's that one. And this one. I can go this one. I think there's one more what once doing it. Was it the first one that that I did? Oh no, that ended up being on card, didn't it? Okay, pop that over there. <laughs> That's that one. Just see that. probably using a little bit more than um, I need to but yeah without properly um, looking I can't really see <laughs> so I'm thinking if I go bigger at least I know it'll, it'll cover it right so that is that uh, they're for pockets aren't they so I'll just pop those over there just pop the thing on there Right, what do we want behind them? Do we want anything in front of them? I don't know. I have got some forget-me-nots from my garden. So I don't know if to maybe... I think that's beautiful. So I think I'm going to do that. Um... Let's get the art glitter out. So 
So this was originally on my grandma's garden. And then when she passed away, I did take a small clump of them, <laughs> which um, now is a massive clump on my garden. And I love them. So they're absolutely great for, uh, you know, coverage. If you're not a... I mean, I used to be a gardener, but um, yeah, I'm physically not a gardener anymore. Right, so that can go on there. So I'm just going to glue all around here. Like so. Just try and put that up to at least, you know, that side and, and that side. And then I know that there's just <clears throat> this these two sides to to trim right. trim that lovely just a little bit there but I think I'm just going to cover that with with the ink and I just go all the way around and that covers that that join where the paper joins so now we've got a journal card or you can always put a little hinge on it and it can be a, an opening an opening piece to, to something behind it so that's one let's just pop that there right got this one thinking I might do do more with the um, forget me nots because it's a nice way of of getting them used, yeah. So let's twist that over. I don't think any side's any better than the other. Just putting enough glue on it just to stick it in place. So obviously once you've stuck the the journal card together, I don't think it's really gonna gonna move. Right, let's um yeah, that's super beautiful. Right, let's glue this. And I'm going to butt it up to the bottom, to the bottom there, and to this side. And I can see where I want to trim it off. Rubbing those sides, sides in more, pinching them together. So that's another one. Yeah, I love those. I think I will put some decoration um, on the fronts of them. I think if we just do do these first. So I'm gonna look at this one. Yeah, that's lovely. I'm just gonna pop that there just to remind me where I actually want the top of it. What's that? Just double check it, yeah that's fine. So to collect these flowers all I did is I took my dictionary outside and I just picked them literally just put them in the book pages and then I just left them for a few months uh, f literally forgot about them and then wondered why um, the old dictionary was at the side of me and looked in and remembered I was like oh lovely <laughs> 
It is actually the only thing that I've got round to picking uh, this year. I really did want to go out and pick some ferns, but just not not had the chance to. Um, obviously we have that horrendous heat wave, and then you know with getting back to to work and starting having the grandchildren and um, you know normal life. Um, I've ju I've just not fit it in. So unfortunately. There we go. But luckily, I have got a lot of um, leaves from my Acer from last year. Um, so I will have some things to, to be able to use for um, autumn. But I do like um, having some ferns. So that can go there. And I think it's about there that I wanted it. Let's glow up. That's it. Kind of done with that. Just being just a little bit further down. Let's have a look at that. That's better. I just only moved it, you know, just a just a tiny tiny touch. frames <laughs> actually bigger than the piece of paper what was left because I think this was the the scrap bit okay let's get a little bit more ink on here now drop says Right. I don't know what that is. Something glued to it. Oh, so that's that one. There we go. And just two two more left. So you want quite a big one. Well oh, that little one might be nice for in there yeah we would have that one for there um, let's just put some on there and then I shouldn't need, need any more for the next one I want a longer one that's nice look at that goes in that way so yeah that'd be lovely so it was about there okay yep okay let's just check yeah that's super Oh dear me, let's just wipe, just wipe that. <coughs> yeah, that's better. Okay, let's get this glued down. Let's 
set. I think that one that. That's that one. And the final one. Let's put that the right way around. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. This one looks like it's quite off uh, size, size wise. And if I knew that I was using them for, you know, flip outs when I put the card on, I could have um, already had the, the hinge on. Um, but, you know, putting, putting another hinge on, it's not, not, not a problem. Right. So we've got all those. I'm going to pause and just get some space. Okay, let's have a rummage and see what we can find. Just just to add add a little bit of something. So I've got this tray here. What's got all little uh, bits and bits and bobs? Yeah, that's quite nice. I wasn't expecting that to be <laughs> some strange reason. I wonder. No, too much. Just testing that round yeah quite like that now but I need to put that back in with my botanical things um Anything looks nice on it to be honest. Look at those stump circles, might you say? I like that. I think I'm gonna put that on. Um, <laughs> do I want anything behind it? Do I want a little bit of um, let me just cut a little bit of stuff. I've got my um, that kind of stuff and Got some nice crochet trim here, which was sent in Happy Mail. So, oh, look at that. Now, that doesn't look right with that, but I really love that. Where's that other piece that I said originally? See, I don't want to put, mind you, I mean, it doesn't matter, the flip can go. Any side contact. Oh, that's beautiful. Try that down there. No, I think it's either one or the other, you know. I'm not keen on it there. Yeah, 
No, I think I'm just going to put some lace down now. Let's um, use the three in one. I don't want to put a lot on because it, it does tend to be shiny when it dries. So I'm going to have the... Okay, I'm going to straighten it up with <laughs> with the bottom side because that's the side that I've just just cut. Move it right onto the onto the edge. That's lovely. Right. Okay. And that's that. Yeah, I love that. Do I want anything? I don't know, it looks okay now. So just ink around here. I need to reload my brush up. My dauber. I think that's too big now on there. So I'm going to pop that down. I'll just leave that out in case I need it. Do I want some of this behind it? Just to. I don't know, maybe. You, you can hardly see it <laughs> anyway, so I don't think it adds or detracts. So I'm just going to put blob there. Yep. Come on, in the middle. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm going to use the three in one on the stem just because we're going down onto the, onto the fabric. And I'm going to place that at an angle. Hopefully that will. All pressed down. Don't think it's gonna. No, I don't think it's gonna. Yeah, I think it will. So that's that one. Right. Let's do the next one. Let's look at this. Right. Yeah, I like that on there. I quite like that across the top. Or do I like it at the bottom? No, I don't like it at the bottom. I don't want it at that side because it's got a nice picture there. Or do I? No, I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna put that across across the top. I do like that there. Yeah, let's just put a little bit at the top of here. Bring that down there. Okay, just snip that off. Right, so. So that's that. I'm going to place that there. Put the lid back on. I <coughs> use the art glitter. These are little cards that I got from uh, AliExpress. I couldn't tell you what, what they was. They were just little cards. And they're two-sided. So there was birds, botanicals. I think there were some butterflies. I'm just thinking, do I, do I want anything else? No, I think that'll be done to a little circle. No, but I might save that. So that's that one. <clears throat> right, let's have a look at this one. So I've got a nice bird there. Might not even decorate this one. Hmm. 
Oh, I like that. I'm going to do that. Since Ari wasn't doing anything to it. So let's get that down there. that one, a very quick one, this one, oh, I really like that, yes I really do like that, I don't know if that bit poked out, I don't think it does, <coughs> yes I like that, how that bit comes out, that's it. Does any more? No. No, I'm just going to do that. I really like it. So obviously these are all going to go in with the with the bird things, but I mean I can pull them out in the botanical just because they're in the bird box doesn't mean, you know I can't. I just find it easy to <clears throat> to keep things a bit separate when you're looking through for things. Right, that's that one. Lovely. And oh, just two left. Okay, that went quick. So these are, I've got these lovely birds on here, so I might not put a lot on here. Don't know if I want that there. Oops. Because then you're hiding the bird, aren't you? I feel like just leaving that one because I really do, do like it. Let's just put a circle there. No, I don't think so. That's it. A stamp. No. No, I'm going to leave that one. So that's that one. And then this one. I think I'm going to leave this one, you know. I think a word would have been nice up there. Let's, um, let's get the tip of Hulk's words on. Let's see. I'm gonna have this knowledge which costs nothing. Let's put that there. Oh, it's not really straight, is it? Oh, I'm so rubbish at getting things straight. Probably have to pop some glue under it now. Still not straight. Maybe, I think some of these stickers aren't actually straight, straight, you know. That's better. So, that is that one. So, we've done all the tags. What kind of time are we on? 44. So, I'm going to leave this for there. For there, for now. And um, I'll come back tomorrow and... Um, We'll finish the frames off so i hope you've enjoyed that i'm sure you'll have some frames somewhere or if you've got you know die cut machines and that you can make things with frames you can even do this with the uh, packaging um anything that's got a hole in then just just put put back in onto it so thank you very much and i'll see you tomorrow bye for now